Hello guys, welcome back. Time for episode 2 of the end zone scenario, The Bet. Last time we built a bit of um, a jumpstart base to try to get things ready before we start going out into the wilderness to look for seeds. And Bennett decided to inform us that, hey, we don't have enough protective clothing. Many of our settlers are forced to move across this wasteland unprotected. We should boost our production of protective clothing. Yes, yes we will. You want us to build a tailor shop and make two activated carbon masks in 10 seasons. That's good, we can deal with that. We can definitely deal with that. We'll require cloth, but that is not a problem. We'll need more of those. Do I have enough room to leave two gaps? I like doing this setup, leaving two in the middle, because later when we unlock the refinery, that's the footprint it has, so you can just remove them and replace it with that. Let's close this. Build it. And also, we will need or shop. I wanted it to be close to the... Oh. So I'm just gonna squeeze the tailor here. How long until those kids are ready? A couple more seasons. Thankfully we don't have to worry too much about them walking around without radiation because they're not really going in anti any radiated places. Funny that the tailor shop requires cloth to be built. Scrap. Move one from here as a forester. Shelter is ready, good. What's going on with you? You're a child, you're happy. Yes, you don't have any education yet, but that's okay. We will address that soon. So, so wood at the moment is our biggest bottleneck. We don't have enough people just yet. Come on, Leon and Freya and John. You three are going to spearhead our progress. Scrapyard is getting the last three scraps. Um, let's look at the radiation. Scary place over there. And send them to get that, but it's too far. Same with this, but that's a nice amount. So we're just going to grab. Ooh. We are just going to grab. Start with this stuff that are close. Let them grab this first. for the drought. So we don't need any fisher people. So what is she doing? Is idle. Okay. So it doesn't automatically reallocate them. Go away from being a fisher and take out the water carriers because they can't really do anything during this season. And I'm going to put two of you as refiners, three of you as refiners. Yep. I need another one for cloth. That's good. And I will need one more forester, and that should be okay for now. We're 
think. We're slowly running out of tools. We need the wooden scrap, okay. we can do is we can go on tasks we can go gather wood and tell them to cut all of this down so as soon as we have a few settlers which we do now they will go top this actually i should probably go do a gather all resources here since there is a bit of everything so i can replace that so let's just remove this and go with gather all resources right here settlers are very very helpful you just need to make sure you keep a healthy amount of them and that you can support them starting to get uh, radiated which is not ideal For settlers, it's good. The teller shop is ready. We want to be advanced carbon mask. Actually, I don't want a person yet because I don't have any charcoal. So I'm gonna put a couple people just to get us some charcoal quickly. And no one on the teller shop yet. So your cloth, you will become plastic and you will become metal. Because the next thing we need to build after we get the tailor up and running will be tools. Yeah. See, this time left is a bit weird. And what do you need for your next upgrade? Electronics. That's okay. Then you're gonna wait for a little while. Almost time for the drought to go away. There it is. Okay, so we need people back on water because water is important. And let's put one fisher back. So, we spend about almost 800 water a season. So we need to get a good surplus of this. We didn't get any food because hunters cannot really get any food during drought. We used up a lot of metal scraps, but that's okay. Good scraps. Plenty stored here. We'll probably need a second one fairly soon. Okay, we got a bit of wall uh, and it's going up there. I'm gonna assign one person to start working on those carbon masks. The good thing with those quests is, is like you really want them because I need to produce two and it will give me six as a reward, which would be enough to cover my people. Can I prioritize this? Build this next, yes. There are no settlers to pick this stuff up, but that's okay. We got a few more kids entering the workforce soon. they are taking they go there they bring the stuff are they starting here wood scrap herbs berries and cloth okay of coal that's good come on boys and girl you just need two more plastic 
There you go. It's a sure thing this new tailor shop will do a wonderful job. We already started production and achieved the preliminary figures too. Okay. It looks like it's going down a lot. So, what can we do to boost our food? Well, we're collecting a bit of food through this, so we'll collect another 100. Let's get a few more workers and maybe we can start with a bit of farming. Long way to go get this stuff. But at least they're still happy. They just don't live long enough. Good. Activate this to filter water. And I should probably upgrade this as well. Yeah, let's do it now. And also, it is time to build a workshop. Because without tools, they are not really efficient in what they do. And I have two here, one and one. Maybe I should do this. Yes, let's do this. So, dirt road continues until the end. Go this way, that's fine, but you can go this way. And this can wrap around this building. Okay, that's good. We've got four people. Let's put one more pisser. We're still got no surplus of radiation protection. Why? How many are you producing? You're producing two a season and you're using up two a season. We got cloth. But coal, not enough yet because we're using it for this upgrade. We to feed this. Okay, it will balance out. Our loan builder is doing everything. Let's put the second one there. Professionals are complaining about a lack of tools. Maybe we ought to build a workshop to be able to ensure that everyone is working effectively. Of course. Already ahead of you, my friend. There's the road. And we've got a fair few people not having radiation suits. Okay. Let's put the old and the infertile in here. So we can keep the healthy ones here producing kids. Just so we don't run out of uh, a steady population supply. After all, population is a resource as well. Low food reserve, we got a food problem. We need more food. So let's put two more people into fishing. Last season we got 120. Okay. That should help getting some of that uh, food stockpile build up. And since we're getting more people, we need a lot more food. It leads me to think it's a good time for the gatherer's cabin. Since we are going to reforest this area, where can I squeeze you? Squeeze you here, or here. To be that far. It's gonna be over there. That's the perfect spot for you. Dirt road. Soon we will also need a herbal hut. 
which I'll place right about there. Let's do the road. Um, yeah, the, the red highlighted people is those who have no radiation protection. I should probably switch this to next scarf so we can get enough protection for all of them and then build up the amount of it. So we need to build meta tools, put one of them there. You can be closed for now. Water looks like it's going down. Yes, we need So, more water carriers. You're a question mark, why? Only one piece of wood to get, so when this guy gets it... This. Okay. We also have people without housing. So, we have eight. Stabilize our environment a little bit. Let's throw them in there. We need to get more food going before we really start playing around with the population. Okay, gather a scabbin. You guys can gather from over here. And let's put two of you there. Good. Is this holding up? 73%. That's okay. We're slowly getting there with the radiation protection. And we need those three metal tools. So scrap, metal, and wood. Then good on wood and scrap. Rebel hut. We'll need that to heal our people, so same overlapping location, and one of them should be enough. There is not that much use of uh, herbs. And let's try to get them back into some sort of happiness. Or is it decorations? Because they're unhappy, so we're losing a lot of um, benefits. So let's put a flower bed here, here. And that should cover all of this area. Good. I'm gonna squeeze two more over here. And... Street lamp needs... Save time. This I can probably put one in the middle here. One, two, three, four. So that's a length of four. So I can put one here, rotate it this way. Our flags wide, they are square. Okay. Let's put one more flower bed there. There you go. And that should look pretty once it's built. Let's put one more here, one more over here. Oh, woodware gathering is contaminated. We gotta fix that too. How are we going to fix it, you say? Well, if we go into our logistics, there is a building called Decontamination Post, which people really hate being close to. So we're gonna put this here. They will use charcoal to make um, a contraption that allows them to cleanse the food. And the storage room is almost full, so we need another one. Where do we need this? I can put it over here. We need some storage closer to this location anyway. Or here. 
here will be good. Lots of building happening, but it's one of those games that you constantly have to keep expanding. Like Vanished, really. Especially with the assignments for workers. Are they happy again? We really want to go into this like second tier of positive effect. So what are they missing to go there? Well, you need water. Art. Uh, they have no social contacts. They haven't had anything happy happen. No electricity, no alcohol. He doesn't have a house. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't count. We'll need one person here. And we need to move the radius over there. So this will take each one of those kits. One in the Cather's Hub, one in the Temporary Storeroom, Hunting Lodge, everywhere. But and I want 50 of those. That should be good. A few more are joining the fold. I'm gonna put a second one as a tailor. And definitely, when this one is done, we're gonna switch to scrap tools. Put a second guy in there too. Just until we can catch up. Because with two people, one can go get the resources while the other one is crafting. There is not that much of a delay. The new workshop is up and ready for action. Our engineers made an extra effort to immediately do something against the shortage of tools. That will surely help us quite a bit. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. Because this takes one third of the time more, so that's slower to produce. So let's go into scrap tools. And they can help us get back to where we need to be. We run out of scrap. Um, radiation. This place is clean now, so we can go salvage it. This is clean too, but it's too far. Where do I plan on expanding? I don't plan on going there yet. But I want to sort of start getting this area. Okay, yeah, let's grab this. Okay. The contamination level should start dropping soon. Ooh, oncoming drought. Do we have enough? We do have enough. We consume almost 1,500. Ooh, this will be more than half of our uh, water. Okay, it's still manageable. Just getting a little close. Let's put a few more people there. Who is still holding on, which is good. And the forest is slowly rebuilding. The good thing is when you have a good last forest, the gatherers have even more to grab. Same with the herbalists. And I don't know if it actually helps to bring more animals in. Someone is unhappy. Who is unhappy? How dare you be unhappy? in my domain. I do not see you. Well, you must not be that unha- Up oh, there you are. You snack in a house. Hello, Chief. We're a little worried that our population figures could rise sharply in the near future. If our population grows too strong, it might lead to a calamities for us. Maybe it could be better to curtail the growth a bit, or what do you think? Let's do it. Watch your population growth. Okay, how do you do that? <laughs> mm. 
I can push the population up a little bit, but no, it should be all right. Let's, um, we don't have any dead yet, huh? Let's build a school. And let's keep it um, right here. Of course, roads everywhere because we love roads. I love roads. Can I circle this around? No, I cannot. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. Very full. Take one more person. You need it. Looks like there's a lot of contamination going around. Where do I want to relocate these guys to? I'll take you from fishermen and I'll make you scrap collectors. And I will also... Put one of you as a teacher. There are no herbs, they wither away during the drought. We are finally catching up with the radiation protection. It's good. Very good, finally. We're starting to build a bit of a backlog. It will take a little longer, but that's okay. Yes, yes, we know we have low food uh, reserves. It should probably just barely last us. Medium contaminated rain. Okay. Let's try to fix the food problem, shall we? So, to fix the food problem, we're gonna need water. The reason we need water is for this irrigation plant. Now, what's a nice location to plant this on? We can plant it right here. I'm trying to get the most effective position for it. I could probably go farther, but I don't want to go too far. Wonder if I should go here. Over here. And over here is even better. Because they can go directly from the houses to this location. Yeah, let's do this. Now. We want this. And we need to plan our farms and orchards around that. So, I'm going to make two farms and two orchards. Oh, cool. Now you can see the water. That's good. Before you couldn't, and it was a pain. So, I can go... Huh? I can expand this over here. It's okay. It won't grab these two little bits down there, but that's okay. And for orchards, I can build a very big one standing there and build a second one finding extended to the side yes now since they will be gathering a lot of stuff they will need a storeroom to place it all in so we're gonna put that there and i'm also going to put the food station so they don't need to go all the way back home to it there's going to be a food station here which is close to their food places. There will be one over here and another one down here where they work. So what's a nice accessible area? Ideally around here, huh? Put that there. And the same with water. We don't want them to go too far to get water. So one water here that will cover this area. Over here, they are right next to water, but that's okay. Let's give them a second spot. 
And let's put the last one right here. Again, fair bit of building, but very worth it. And when it comes to farming, you don't need too many people on the farms. We'll need to wait for them to clean. School is ready. Yes, focus on productivity. Absolutely. Food is dropping a lot. Uh, house for these people, but that's okay. Ah, there comes radiation. 